Download from the BBC of Dr. Carl's Science Phone-In, which is broadcast as part of the Up All Night programme on 5 Live from 3am to 4am on Thursday mornings. Here's the latest edition. Here's Tony calling us from Doncaster. Hello, Tony. Hello there. Hi, Dr. Tony. Welcome. How are you? Can you, well, well, can you tell me why it's not possible for us to tap into the molten centre of the earth to provide an inexhaustible supply of energy? Um, well, well, nothing's inexhaustible, but you, know, you mean really huge and lasts for a really, really long time. Um, you don't need to go down that far. If you get yourself a cubic kilometre of rock buried, say, a kilometre underground, so that the top of it is one kilometre underground, the bottom of it is two kilometres underground. And suppose that it's fractured so that it has horizontal fractures through it. Not vertical, but horizontal. Well, you go to one corner and you inject in some water and at the other end, out will come steam in the diagonally opposite corner. And you can tap this and it will you know, power maybe half of Australia for, for, for 15 years. So you don't need to go that far down to the centre of the Earth where the temperature is up around 5,000 degrees C, in fact hotter than the surface of the sun. You only need to go down a few kilometres to have enormous amounts of energy. Why aren't we doing it? Because, well, there's a lot of inertia in the way that we're making energy at the moment. And there are technical reasons. They have geothermal energy in parts of California. And when they crank it up, the mini, mini earthquakes happen. And when they slow it down, they slow down. So it has effects. The deepest we've ever de drilled a hole, I think, was, I don't know, 8, 11 kilometres. That leaves another 6,000 kilometres before we get to the centre of the Earth. So am I sort of heading down answering your question, Dr Tony, kind of-ish? Well, kind of-ish, but it's... Um, if you look at the alternatives for producing energy that we look at, everybody worries to death about nuclear energy. Mm -hmm. And uh, nobody wants fossil fuel energy anymore. Mm -hmm. And we do expensive experiments with, for example, hydrogen energy and things like that. But if it was the case that we drilled for energy and we drilled far enough down for energy, isn't it feasible that the centre of the earth could provide us with um, enough energy to see us into the future for thousands of years sure but how are you going to get past 11 kilometers well the, the engineering problems are enormous well the engineering uh, the engineering problems would be enormous but you might as well say well you know our, our, how many roads have we built that we said were impossible how many dams have been created that they said was impossible Ah, uh, they weren't impossible. They were just difficult. You've been listening to a download of the Dr. Carl Science phone-in from Up All Night at BBC Radio 5 Live. You can put your questions live on Thursday mornings from 3am to 4am or you can email us at upallnight at bbc.co.uk. That's upallnight, all one word, at bbc.co.uk. There's a link to Dr. Carl's homepage on the Up All Night homepage at bbc.co.uk slash 5live.